Yeah. Okay, here we go. Yep, other side. Right here, Huds. You see Grams? It's bright, isn't it? Are we going fast? <laughs> we're riding. Fast. Yep. Well, so today we're out chisel plowing. It's the uh, I don't know, sixth of November. So. <laughs> little man so right now I already have uh, um, let's see half of the acres chisel plowed for the next year so <laughs> yeah somebody somebody loved you in your little uh, car seat yeah yeah So, yeah, heading over to do the 75 acres over at the other piece of property and uh, go from there. See, uh, see what it's like. <laughs> hey, Huds, are those pumpkins? Over there, see? Do you see him? The orange? Pumpkins. Yeah, pumpkins. <laughs> white. Yep, and white ones too. Yep. Got too much of a chance to talk today. <laughs> yeah, turn around. My beard is getting really not too long. But uh, yeah, down to the last field. Although it's a 45 acre field, so it takes a little while to do. But uh, at the very least, I'm gonna get the heavy ground chisel. Um, the sand. It's always tempting just to try to no-till it. Um, 
maybe it would do uh, do a little bit better. So um, if it doesn't get chiseled this fall, maybe I'll just no-till it. It'd be nice to get the stalks ripped in just for the, the value of them there. Um, I'm gonna quick turn this around and <laughs> go for the ride. Yeah, it'd be nice to get the stocks worked in, but if it doesn't, you know, uh, at least get the heavy ground done. Yeah, um, I didn't get as much video on it. The field over there is the one that I had taken the video of this spring where I was saying it was probably one of the hardest packed fields I've ever done. Um, it was improved, um, you know, it, it definitely uh, after chiseling it this spring um, I, I feel better about it compared to last year um, it's still nothing like this field that I've uh, consistently been able to work it a little bit deeper and so I'm gonna keep um, keep working at it try to loosen it up a little just because it still is a little hard packed from many years of just being in silage and then they just dissed it and they would run manure spreaders across it and not many years but it was three years of that so yeah but as you can see I striped the field this makes it a little easier not having to turn so work one way then come back I don't know for the GPS it makes it easy so um, hopefully I get to my videos posted soon. Um, <laughs> by the time you see this, you'll have seen that I probably, you know, tried to play catch up um, on posting them. <laughs> it's going to be like uh, the springtime where it was middle to end of June and uh, Jeff was saying, uh, is, am I still planning? And it's like, nope, that was the middle of May. So I'm going to try to do it. Uh, but yeah, I'm thankful for the uh, ability to get the, this, this groundwork because, uh, yeah, it makes spring go a lot easier if this is all done, so. And it's just, I mean, this is sandy right here. Even the heavier ground is working up really nice, so keep at it. It's going to get dark soon, um, but today was mid-70s, kind of crazy. Uh, can't complain. It's the seventh of November. I know I got the date wrong a little bit earlier, so yeah. Keep at it. See how much I can get done before. Uh, I have to stop. Yeah.